What is up everybody welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a brand new update video going over some new limit breaks and some new info such as the last Naruto being on global we got a new Phantom Castle out on JP as well now we're gonna try to keep this video as short as I possibly can because I don't know how I woke up with like cuts under my tongue and this shit is painful every time I speak so I'm like trying to numb my mouth now I can't talk normally but uh, yeah, I'm wasting time. I'm wasting the precious numbness. I don't know why I do that. Okay. So, starting off on Global, we go to the summon section. We have the Blazing Festival, the last Naruto. And we still have the Valentine's Banner that, you know, that's your thing, go for it. So, we have five characters on here. So, you got a 5% chance of pulling a banner unit. A, I'm pretty sure it's like 12% or 15% overall chance of getting a gold and you know of these I'd say the uh, Minato is the worst doesn't mean he's bad I'm just mean he's the worst of everyone present uh, you got the Naruto the Kakashi is a monster the Hashinam was really good and so is the Gara. so you know overall this is a good banner the Naruto itself is really cool and I'll actually go over him right now So you got 5.5 times attack to a single enemy in range nullifies damage you receive from ninjutsu or secret techniques for two turns. So that's self-explanatory, but if you guys don't know, it is exactly the same as the Blazing Bash Madara, where you can take damage from normal hits, but you know any jutsu or ultimate jutsu will do no damage to him. Now, the thing is, it's different in PvP. It restores one chakra in PvP. It does not, uh, you know, doesn't have that effect of the no damage jutsu taken. Now the thing is, this isn't, this isn't all bad because the normal jutsu count is 13 hits. So if you can get two hits in, for example, uh, Rock Lee's normal attack does two, two hits. If you use Rock Lee first, generate a chakra, for, uh, for Naruto. Naruto's now at 5 chakra, right? You use Naruto's Jutsu, uh, it generates one chakra by itself, and then it'll generate another chakra with the uh, with the help of Lee, with the combo. So you'll generate, uh, you've generated 3 chakra, and when you come again you get a Jutsu back. So this Naruto should, in theory, be really good in PvP. And that was just me thinking of that off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure people can actually figure out how to use it properly. Now, his ultimate jutsu is uh, still a single target, uh, but it, uh, same exact feature, restores one chakra. The difference is, there's actually no difference. They keep the same thing in PvP, they just slightly nerf it, but no one really goes for ultimate jutsus, so I don't, I don't know why that's a big deal. Now, these are stats down here. You know, solid stats. Uh, short range, 2204 strength, 21 health, well, you know, pretty pretty up there. In PvP, he's not fast, right? But he's tanky and he hits hard. So you never know. Uh, let's see. Uh, what was it gonna do? Yeah, let's actually show off his jutsus. Because there's not much else to show off. Uh, I'll go over the, the limit breaks in a second. There you go, and ultimate jutsu, and then we'll show off his uh, dupe abilities because he does have a new dupe ability that no one else has in the game. Pretty good nice animation. Okay, now if you take a look at his dupe abilities, he has reduced damage by 10%, on the last one is 15%, so 25% damage reduction. He can increase his multiplier by 1, right? So now he's doing 6.5 times attack with 2200. Uh, with 2200 base attack, right? We take a look at how much damage that actually is. So 6.5 times, we'll do 2304 because of pills. He's doing 15k on his normal jutsu, right? Which is 4 chakra. Now, if we were to take PvP, for example, right? It'll only be a 6 times multiplier. 
because he loses he loses the point five for whatever reason. It would be six times thirty four oh six. And for fourth chakra, he's doing twenty thousand four hundred thirty six damage. And this is of course to uh, body units. He'll do you know one point five times that. So he'll be doing thirty thousand six hundred fifty four damage to body units. And like I just said, I just gave you a scenario where you can get a jutsu off two times in a row. Now his other, uh, this one's the interesting one. Nullifies element affinity based damage reduction, meaning uh, he can do the 20k neutral damage to heart units as well, right? He doesn't do reduced damage to them from anything, right? So if you have up to his third dupe ability, he's going to be super solid in PvP in my opinion. And then you got Ignore Barrier. So there you have it, that's Naruto the Elias. I'll try to summon for him, uh, it depends on how many pearls I can get. Because, you know, money, money. And then, I don't think there's anything. There's Roshi, who's new on... Uh, what is it? He's the new impact mission. And I went over his stats last time, so if you guys want to check that out, go check out my last video. But, if you take a look at the limit break details. So the four limit breaks are... Uh, Naruto, Sa sorry, yeah, Naruto, KCM2, uh, Sasuke, actually, it might just be easier if I show you on Nordax's Twitter itself. Okay. And let me just switch over to desktop. So here we have it, right? The new limit breaks. So starting with Naruto, we have, these are his new stats, alright, almost 3,000 attack short range, and then you got, on his PvP, it's still like, these are max uh, pill and max speed, right? So he normally has 224 base speed, so it's definitely not bad. Uh, if he was like 280 speed, I'd say he's a pretty good spot, but he's definitely like one of your better options now. This Itachi is really good now. Uh, PvP, he's got a uh, decently high speed, right? 280, 40k health, uh, about 3,000, about 3,000 uh, damage. So he'll start doing some solid damage in PvP to those uh, heart units now. Uh, the single target nuke, right? Like he pretty much look at look at this damage, right? He's like similar to um, who is it? Yamato now, where but he he has five chakra, so I'm pretty sure like he like one shots anyone. Uh, he'll probably be able to one shot Hinata's as well. But I have to test that out for myself. I haven't seen like I have to go take a look at what his actual uh, Jutsu multiplier is. Then you have Sakura over here mid-range she got a big health boost not much of an attack boost and i don't know like i never thought sakura that was that good in pvp but that's because i mostly use blazing bash units anyways but there you have it now let's jump over to here we go so just to show off the phantom castle we have izuna here these are his stats I can actually tell you what they do exactly, because I'll try to pay attention. Global JP, there we go. Now, Azuna is 45 based cost, so he now goes underneath 28 cost. Reduces damage from wisdom enemies by 20 to 25% with his field skill, so good for objectives. Uh, normal Jutsu is 3 times attack to all enemies in range, 4.8 times attack if they are recovery sealed. So, 4.8 times attack with his... Let's see... With his, we'll say, 1442... 7000 damage AoE, pretty bad in my opinion. Uh, he can generate a chakra if he hits 2 people. 
Pentag attack, bravery to one enemy, 60% chance of recovery ceiling for four turns that knocks him back. Then his dupe abilities are 20% chance to erase chakra consumption on ultimate jutsu, a reduced chance of attack reduction by 20%, reduced chance of being sealed by 20%, reduced chance of being immobilized by 20%, and then 10% chance of dodge. Another, in my opinion, bad character, but he's an under 28 character for you to use for objectives and you know, it's better than nothing. Like if it, they're gonna make bad Phantom Castle characters, at least make them under 28. And yeah, we can actually see his juices here. So a normal fireball GT. I Twitter always freezes when I zoom in. I do like this. It will freeze anyways. Load, 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 load. Ultimate Jutsu. And there you go, 14,000 damage. So, that is the power of Izuna. Oh, and look at that, Jinpachi. Udashi, I don't know how to say it, I probably butchered it. The one with the explosive sword. Teaser, so that's emergency mission, nothing too crazy. Let's see if we see anything interesting over here. Impact, eyes dyed red. Who is that? Fate of blood, I don't know. I, I, maybe someone, someone wrote it down here. Uh, Oh, ah, okay. So apparently that's the. You guys watched the ending of Naruto Shippuden. They had like a couple of episodes with, I think it was Sasuke's story, right? And the girl. What was her name? So they said Chino. Uh, images. Uh, Naruto. Okay. So this person, this scary looking person, seems like that's who we're getting up against. But yeah, so that'll be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry for the awkward voice. It's just, like I said, mouth is cut and it's really painful to talk. So if I sound a little weird, try to bear with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.